if you're not watching people <laughs> in the POV streams, what are you even doing? Dude, th this guy can just do a single stream of a bloody FBL game and have 50,000 people watching. Yeah. I think his POV might be popular. We're getting into Mirage, and it is to separate them. You heard from Refresh. Of course, it is Heroic, the uh, plucky Danish prince that have taken over not only Denmark, but Counter-Strike by storm here for DreamHack Masters. It's our second quarter final of the Spring Showdown. Let's see how the pistol shapes up. Na'Vi surging through middle with three. Late out ramp is simple with a P250. It does enable him to take those jewels fair and square against the USPs, but he's lost out. And just like that, Vinny, with two clicks of his mouse, has put Na'Vi on the back heel. Trying to change things is Boomich. Does well to find one. Junior, he's responsible for the bomb, but bit with the recovered P250 does damage. Now the bomb scooped up. They could make this a bit more competitive than initially met the eye here. Now Bit's opting to take some space back. They're going to park Perfecto towards default. He can stay here for forever now. Oh my god, what are they up to? They're actually going for the plant. It's not going to be contested. Three from CT. Oh! Bit's hit the first. Cancels the plant. Perfecto for another. Just the two of them. The new boys on the block break the back of Furia. That started with two from Vinny. Three versus five. Bit and Perfecto combine. Oof, okay, okay. Got a bit more firepower in the ranks than just simple in a round like that. What was that? 3v5 turned on it. Jesus. I mean, the, the shot bit hit was compulsory, right? Perfecto cancelling the plant as bit screams they're coming. He gets him off, gets Yuri on the push, and then provides another. That's three with the unarmored P2, P250. Jeez. Not the P2K. Now, well, you I, saw Caserado on screen. That's why the Ks are in your mind. It is, but the Zeus is in action now. The only penny spent from Furia this time around. Let's see. I've been working on my... Uh, what would it be? Not not Zeus. Im Im impression. Impression is the word I'm looking for here. Your electrocution impression? Oh, who better to be electrocuted? Than electronic. Dun, dun, dun. The conspiracy thickens. Oh, oh did he... Oh, oh, ah! he's actually done it. Oh, cheeky, and that was cheeky. good. I'll give you 9 out of 10 for that. Thank you very much. Well, if Furia win this, I'll give them 10 out of 10. Mm, a recovered AK, and he has... Oh, there's another Zeus, too. ...maneuvered his entire squad oh, to be. Oh, they're coming to be. Yeah. Oh, they're coming to be. Oh, he's corralling them in. Simple's oh. just had his bottom oh. spanked. It's getting awkward here. This is a full eco. Okay, Serato. Oh, no! Ah! Double Zeus! He can't get the AK, but they're causing so much trouble with just the $400 spent. Is there any more trouble in the jungle? Let's find out. Bits nicely positioned, and it looks like Simple's oh, got our oh, number. He, he wants does. a knife. He wants a knife. Oh. This is what you get. You stab me on nuke, I'll stab you right back, and returns fire onto Yuri. All oh. right. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you know what? I'm glad that Furia keep that. Like, uh, there is very few Counter Strike teams I can cast. I can guarantee I'll be smiling throughout their game. Yeah. Furia do provide that guarantee. Look at this. <laughs> this is a quarter so final. Silly. A quarter final. They get double <laughs> Zeus frags. And if only that AK, then God knows how it could have shaped up. We've got knife kills. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, and this is, I mean, make no mistake, they are taking this incredibly seriously. This is just a product of when you mash Na'Vi and Furia and say fight. Oh, dear. That silenced M4 has got bit on notice, and he's even taken him down. Safely escapes. Art provides the first blood. It's going to be an A explode out. Apps here. Bombs on the back. They're ready to go. Waiting for Boomage connector and simple up ramp. Well, there's Boomage. And there goes Junior. Nothing he can say about that one. Art's trying to take off his silencer. Oh, things went so well for them on the eco. Right now, they've just been stripped. That was really quick stuff from Na'Vi there. I'm not sure what the go was. It felt like they just walked out and got all the kills. That's my kind of analysis. No, but really, like, <laughs> Boomich just walked out mid, gets a kill. So immediately, Junior's under pressure now because he has to worry about connector as well as apartments, as well as a Hence ramp. the strafe back. He tries to get out of there, caught mid air. Art's in window. Now he's completely surrounded. And the dominoes just fell. Kay Serato with the horrible job of having to save an MP9. Yeah, but they're even... I mean, it is a save. Like, make no mistake, they are being hunted, though. Na'Vi, this is round three. Yet to drop one and already looking to really twist the knife. Looks like they'll escape this time. Simple does have a HE, but nothing to be done. And there you have it. Three to zero, some preserved M4 and MP9s. Yeah, Simple's going to get himself that AWP as well. So right now, Simple after three rounds of play, has 7.8k in the bank balance. He is sitting very pretty right here right now. 
No, he has two kills. <laughs> He's got 7.8k. One of them a little <laughs> extra special. Okay. Oh, they're going to buy again, of course. And this time, Smoke is there before Bit arrives. Oh, actually. God, look how quick they are. They're just walking. They don't even smoke connector. They're just walking up. Three of them. They might try and boost, and that's a really awkward turn of events. Oh, they both go down. Round, perhaps, to follow. They can post simple up to catch any of those CT info pushes. Electronics even pushing ramp. Caserato's desperately trying to be responsible for it, but his head is gone. Electronic deletes. This is looking a bit more like Nuke. It is, isn't it? You know, it's not It's not looking like the map number one of Inferno. Well, and this was Na'Vi's choice between Train and Mirage by your yeah. description. Yeah, so and, and the questions were there from the desk in why did they go with Mirage? Because it has looked a bit rocky, right? Now, things are looking great. You know, it's only the first four rounds of play here, but Vinny, with $100 left to his name, he's already dead. Yeah, I think it's the absence of deaths uh, or resistance. You know, Na'Vi have just so far had an open runway. Oh, good find. Simple Huge was... Find. Holding on to his AWP. Now, Art gets to play the 40 second save game. Clock extended by Perfecto's plant. I wasn't sure if they were just going to wait until they had guaranteed they were going to kill him before getting that bomb down, because they had that site control for some time. Regardless, same outcome 4 0. Double orbs purchased on in. Ooh. Junior's got one, Art's got the other. Vinny operating with not a whole lot here, unfortunately. What's he going to make do with? There must be a gun on the ground. There's managed to get himself an org in the thick of all this. So it has worked out not terribly here for Fury's buy into round number five. Surprisingly so. I don't know how this keeps falling into place for them, but they pull it off again. Oh, they're going to be past Art's line of sight. Very fast towards Connector. They may even get under window, directly under his nose. Especially now he's re-smoked. Fires off a shot. Okay, hey, Na'Vi do seem very drilled from their mid-take. They're not just default spreading. They feel like they have a clear idea of where they want to start and finish. Gap on that. Yuri spots nothing towards Ramp and Palace, and it's Perfecto and Le Electronic that were there. Now, they've lost full B apps control, so if they do choose to pivot B, they are going to have to do a lot of hoping and praying. Keiserato pushed up on that MP9. It all hinges on him, though, so there's a universe where we end up seeing a single frag and a save. Simba would have to be so quick to hit this. Look at the line that Keiserato's spotting here to drop this smoke. If he simple peeks in first, it's possible. Whoa, a little flash. He tucks in, ready to punish anyone that disrespects his smoke. Dude, Keiserato has managed to act almost as a wall. He has single-handedly channeled them into the Furious stack. Oh, great play. Yet to see the result, though. Here comes Yuri's first frag. Boomich is there for the trade, but not ready for Vinny. Bomb there, 20 seconds. Na'Vi are desperate. And Electronic oh! turning, but a missed shot from Art. Electronic can punish, and now it's all in a bit of state of flux. Junior is hanging around. If he could just yeah, deny it. Is if he could smoke? just deny it, and he has 10 seconds. Simple has to do two jobs at once. Bunny hopping into Junior. And a crucial double frag from him. Yeah, nice try. The lip there, stopping the recovery of the second AWP. Their finances are burdened, but Furia do break their silence. Able to get through, and you're right, that was just all okay, Serato, because you can look how flustered Na'Vi were coming up quickly through Connector. Right? They waited this one out, likely the full rotation comes through, knew they needed to get a bit of a move on here. De facto Electronic gets this kill onto Art. Bit of a whoopsie right there, but Junior cleans up the mess. Simple just jumping to his demise. So buy back out. Na'Vi looking good for another one here and quick towards Connector one more time. Going straight on through this smoke. Or is it, it towards the window? They could just boost silently if they do use their body. Yeah, okay. Very quick. They're going to be behind two of them here. Nobody's even worrying about window. Oh. Boomich has got full control. Oh, oh. And Bit just keeps all eyes drawn on middle. Oh. Yuri goes for the check and gets it. Okay. Problem averted. Art with more. Perfecto just on the edge of that smoke. Punished. An electronic wouldn't. He's got the bomb on his back and he times it to perfection. Gets the frag and gets away with murder. Oh, that was like the whole round hinging on electronics. Audacious maneuver there. But he's given Navi a chance back in. Yeah, now bit and simple up through connector here. 
gauntlet to get through. Three CTs waiting. Simple does meet Yuri's AK. Bit was supposed to be there. Oh, he can do it both. Even better. Bit with the double keeps it up for contention. Electronics started it. Maybe Bit can finish it. Look how passive Junior's fallen out of that CT. Can't contest. And now the bomb is down. Bit responsible for the jungle walkout. Oh. Electronic taking heads as well. A pair of frags for both of them, and they just completely lock Junior out. What's he supposed to do? Doesn't have a kit, won't be able to go for this. Wants to keep hold Audible. of his orb and does just dip out, but the shot heard. Bit unwilling to let him get away with this. Saying that as he does let him get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Gets it off of his own, so. Finding solutions to this puzzle. Yeah, I lied. Junior gets to live. Simple gets his ult back. Everybody wins. But well, uh, We're not Furia, but yeah. Navi get their fear. It looked like they were winning when you saw that double opening frag. Yeah. Like, Ugh. Yuri opened up with the... Like, he shut down the boomage aggression. It looked great. That second shot there. Yeah, dude. And Electronic to having the audacity to push art. On the on the spray, like he knew he was there, just catching the timing, Ooh. and yes, frustrations are boiling over now for Furia. Like it was easy to dismiss Nuke as Nuke, I imagine for them after a 10 five 10 T rounds from your opposition. It's easy just to try and keep morale high, giggle away the oopsies, and get ready for Mirage. But now you're here. This was supposed to be this was the walking stick you were leaning on in the, the giggles of Nuke. Yeah, now things are starting to look a bit desperate, right? Timeout taken. They've been pretty good off the back of these timeouts. They will be able to have another buy. Yeah, this is just a 30-second shoulder rub from Gary. He's just handing them out. Poor K. Serato, though, back down to another MP9. I don't think we've seen the guy operating with a rifle in too many of these scenarios, unfortunately. Well, that is a byproduct, I suppose. We get to see a perfect window smoke from his spawn position from Perfecto. Mm, it, do it doesn't get quicker than that. It really could not get quicker than that. Still ahead of it, dropping down, are up to some usual funny business. He peeks under. One way. <gasps> Ooh, God, the smoke was a bit off. He was fully exposed. Fortunately, just the surprise alone has led him to two frags. And they're charging into B. K Serato could do a lot with this. They use the window. He goes unchecked. Perfecto does a lot of work for Na'Vi. Oh, and Simple's going to clear it. Okay, so that's a start in the 2v4. Why do I feel like they're about to win this? There's a really good chance they can. Low HP at R is a problem. Perfecto boosted into a power position oh, right now. Oh, he's got a smoke. Where does he pop it? Kitchen window, but they are ahead of it. Yuri can do a lot with this. Oh, the reload. The reload has completely caught him off guard. Simple's got a back turn for the first. Now can come up clutch. He has to deal with Junior. He's slow clearing. And a missed shot from Simple seals his fate. Oh. I think if Perfecto didn't get caught reloading in that situation, probably finds that frag. It all came down to timing there, but they have to give it to Art, right? Yeah, dude, <laughs> he did it all. I think he started in middle. Went under pass. Went under, somehow managed to not only... Where did that flash come from? Was that, was that his as well? Because the, the poor blind Na'Vi member that was in that underpass area, they are going to call a timeout off the back of that success from Furia. And that's not to distribute the weapons. I imagine they've got plenty of funds for this. I'm having a quick glance now. Yeah, yeah. Boomich and Perfecto are a little bit light on, right? But Electronic could drop. So they, they can work it out. It isn't, isn't that harsh of a uh, uh, financial situation to be talking on through. But maybe it's just to refocus them because we were talking about how Na'Vi go on these sprees of rounds and then Furia seem to bounce back with a couple of their own here. But you're right, in that situation, it felt very threatening from Na'Vi, and it really was just the detail in that sight box. Obviously, we don't know how the other kills would have filtered on through after that, but it was looking very, very good. They've made this buy work. Simple back onto the big green, electronic with an AK, Galil's for Boomich and Bit, and a Tech-9 for Perfecto. Utility, well, that's plentiful right here, right now. And it looks like they want to test the B-bomb site some more. Four of them. For now, just the flames keeping them at bay. Vinny does have his ear pressed to the apartment, though, so should he hear anything, that will be conveyed to Kate Serato. He's going for that Aggie or setup. They've lost Art, and a great shot from Kate Serato. If he can just get away from this, he's got a whole site to defend now. Boomage on short. 
Apps a possibility. Oh, God, yeah. Just too many options available to him. And now Bit behind Junior. I don't think he's no, he's a knifer. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no, oh, Bit. Oh, he gets it done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Simple's going to be proud about that one. <laughs> he learns quickly. Yeah, yeah, he does. Young Padawan. <laughs> oh, boy. Why weren't there dagger lightsabers? Oh, someone's going to tell me there was. There probably was. Yeah, but like just a shorter one. Yeah, I'm sure there was. No, you know, like a little bit less obnoxious. We saw that. Remember Darth Maul, he had the double end one. Yeah, so there must have been variations. That's when things were starting to get cool. And yeah. then and the more recent one. They <laughs> Simple, that one He's so proud. <laughs> He has to do it the hard way, yeah, too. Today, slash, slash, stab. Mommy told me he's proud of me. <laughs> well, look what that has done to Furious Finances again. They really can't get a break here in these last two maps. It's been looking horrible for the Brazilians. But back into the stack. Navi, they seem to just be drawn to these. Uh-oh, they didn't check Vinny. Oh, and it leads to his death. Maybe some more. Ooh, the snapping tail. It's a deadly pistol in the right hands. His hands now grow cold. So now that Fnatic aren't very good, I'm glad we have Furia. Yeah, fair play. They have filled that void in terms of just endless giggles. Because it was JW and it was Flusher combined, right? Yeah. They were always up to some nonsense. Flusher doing some some crazy stuff. And, and some SMGs. Joke, JW knife and people. Jokes aside, there is a distinct similarity as to the style of play where it comes down to, you know, your game knowledge being high enough where you can pip gaps against the world's mm. best. Like, I mean, we saw Electronic do it for a whole T-half, you know, finding gaps against CT setups of a professional team. This is a team that are paid to have good CT setups yeah. and you can still worm your way and find and maneuver those gaps to lead to those silly knives. It, it, when I was thinking about the way that Arch was approaching some of these CT, especially the one where he jumps out, gets two kills, right? I guess the third on that. When you think about it, he's, he's making a low percentage play. But if you convert that low percentage play, you're almost converting the round, right? And that, that's where you have to start having the conversation. Well, is this a viable game plan long right. term? Because it's hard to replicate those things time and time again. But Art, he tries a lot every round, right? So they, he's going to definitely be converting some. After that, it just comes down to his teammates. <laughs> it speaks to his character as well. Like, you have to be a certain type of person to be okay with... You know that feeling when you've gone for the what low percentage play and you're the first to die? Like, everyone hates that feeling. Everyone feels like a plum. But Art, clearly, throughout his entire career, has gone for them, has been confronted with that feeling and doesn't, doesn't seem to care. Oh. The spread. Yeah, speaking of not caring, almost lost his life just there. Down to 20 and Navi get the space anyway. That is one of those situations right there, I think, Alex. Molotov, doing the work. They're just walking out. Oh, they are. Yuri's not ready for it. They're oh. into the site. It gets worse for the boys of Fury. Junior kind of has to just stay in this entire time. Yeah, don't give up that position so early, Junior. Okay, well, he's hunted. He doesn't go for the bomb denial. He'd rather play for the retake. And actually, just by finding the shot, he's pulled them off the bomb. Oh, and their retake becomes a little more realistic now. Admittedly, it's even trades, but taking down Simple is no easy task. He's gone. You've got 38 seconds, dudes. You're committed to it. How's he meant to plant? He doesn't feel he can cross. Yeah, so he really can't move a muscle. So who takes that move? It's Boomich crossing a to hunt Keiserato, and he's done it all. Couple of rounds where Keiserato has just put his team on his back. Bit. Could come up clutch here. I'm not sure if they'll be able to contest that plan. Fakes it out all the same, mantles up, and this is great stuff from Bit. The hard part's oh. done, but he looks away, and Art is there to collect the pieces. A valiant attempt. Oh, wow. If they only knew how low Art was in that situation. He wow. did the hard part. That right there is a rough one for Na'Vi to lose because they made the right call again, right? They, they they found the perfect gap. It was just Junior getting this kill onto Perfecto right here. It wasn't even anything that Junior did after that. It was merely his presence alone, which allowed for this play from Kay Serrata. Because Electronic, is, he's well aware. Orp ramp has been said multiple times. Now the CT and he's hitting shots. Yeah, you're right. It was a rock and a hard play scenario. Okay, oh, well. I can break them again right here though, Na'Vi. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's happening. Oh, no. Hang on. I'll do the analysis for this one, Chad. They've walked in and they've killed them all. That is just, that's all they did. That's it. There we go. Fury are looking out of sorts right now. 
Yeah, and I, I mean, we saw the frustrations boiling over. You know, Vinny's often... He's always smiling. You oh. don't ever see Vinny doing that. Yeah, which is a, it's a sign of the times here. I think Furia can feel this quarterfinal just being slowly and methodically and tactically pulled away from them. They've even mollied him out. Oh my god, Junior loses out. He could even wallbang him. He's got five bullets. They're hunting him CT. Caserato's on a timer here. Oh my god, Boomich knows exactly where you are. <laughs> I hope, I, I honestly hope that Blade, you know, had somebody following around every single one of these players today before they played this match, right? And they looked at exactly how they prepped. What did they have for breakfast? You know, what time did they get out of bed? Because they need to capture this Na'Vi. Right, I see what you're saying. They, whatever, whatever the circumstances are, when you see Na'Vi have one of these level performances, yeah. you need to replicate this, right? It, you can't just put it, okay, yeah, Fury aren't playing well, very well. Or, yeah, Na'Vi are having a good day at the office, right? There needs to be some middle ground right there where you can replicate this Na'Vi. Yeah. Right, so basically, whatever you did this morning, you're doing again tomorrow. Yeah, with Heroic on the bloody docket for tomorrow. Mm. That right there, this Na'Vi versus the Heroic right now, that's a series I want to watch. Yeah, absolutely. G2 Gambit, the alternative. Furia looking to write themselves back into that conversation. Conservative buy and aggression part and parcel of those. Bit's ready. You can tell him, you, you can see why he impressed in scrims, can't you? Yeah, he, he, now that he looks comfortable, right? I don't know if, if many people at home have ever like been on trial for a team, right? If you have at any level, even maybe a new job or a new a first day at school yeah. and you, it's a new school, something like that. The coolest kid in all of school is simple, yeah. and you've been sat right next to him. Yeah. And then you're asked to perform at a level that is acceptable to the best to ever do it and be calm while doing it. And also known as one of the most highly vocal and critical members of the entire competitive Counter-Strike player base. Yeah, and look, I'm not saying that's why Bit hasn't found himself. I'm just saying if I was going into that situation, I'd be bloody nervous, yeah. right? And with that in mind, now that he has been, let's say, promoted, that's probably a good way of looking at it, to a starting member of this roster, and they're hyping him up and they're bigging him up and they're having a good game and things are working. He is a much needed key piece of firepower for this roster. We've yeah. had multiple occasions, not just in one series, not just in one map, not just like the flame you blink and you miss it, right? Multi spray down at ramp. Bit has had clear key impact in their games. Oh, wow. Okay, some style points for Keserato in the. Well, they left the site. <laughs> Perfect strafe, yeah. Any KZ God's going to be enjoying that one. Oh, got the back. A recovery success. But yeah, it, it just finished to put a pin in that bit conversation, you know, I think that trial period, when you're desperately trying not to stand on the biggest players of your region's toes. Oh. Juicy, juicy, juicy. But yeah, having a situation like oh. that, <laughs> buttery smooth, dude. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is just counter-strike butter for the eyeballs. We're getting back into things, and it's going to kick off with aggression mid and another dead body for Furia. This is the thing. It's not simple dropping 30 right now. Boomich is finding entries. Bit's killing people. Perfecto. Electronic's finding frags. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, we saw Perfecto on 30 on Inferno. Like, he was such a thorn in their side on that B's site. I hate having this conversation. We've had it so many times about Na'Vi. The, the, the level of potential for this team. I'm sick of that. Sick of that conversation. There's a reason that every time we talk about the big four Navi are there, and it, sometimes it lands on your earballs, your earballs, your eardrums, as almost a joke, and other times as a guarantee. This is an equalizer that Yuri's managed to find entirely on his own. That was a one-on-one -on -one with Electronic, and he has found success. Map control check. Simple ladder is the threat. They're leaning apps. It is only Caserato with his. Uh, M4A4. Oh, and Simple wins the duel with Art there. Wasn't anticipating the fight, and now a disadvantage that's only going to get worse for them. Junior's still on A. Okay, Serato, perhaps calling for the cavalry here, but the cavalry will be cut down. Bit has been set up as a trap to the CT rotate. Junior cannot assist unless he can get past them. And okay, Serato standing strong, at least for the first of pullback from Simple's quick, and Bit's even better. 
guarantees Junior will not make it to the retake in the last prong. Is still on A. Looking like 10 again. Dude, this Na'Vi T side on Nuke and Mirage simultaneously, if you're ever struggling to get hype for Na'Vi and you've got the jersey at home, just watch them back to back. T sides were their problem in recent yeah, history well, as well. precisely. This is just a completely different force. It, it, it looks like they have an idea of where they want to go and what they want to do. Bit will go down there. Yuri grabs another scout, but all in all, it's in vain. This will be the 10th. Two more rounds here within this first half of play. Nearly needed simple. Oh. <laughs> Not going to get away with anything there. Completely pinned on in. Yeah, so. the observers want us to know. Observe, he could have been taking an AK into the next there, but he's not been allowed to. Okay. Well, no matter what Furia walk away at the round total in this half, it's going to, think, fall well below the expectations they had set for themselves. Okay, Serato's just bought in. Perfecto's got one from every spawn. Yeah, I think there was a set. I was watching, a, a, I think MSL did a video. He's been doing some good YouTube content as well. I think he did one showing the sets of spawns that you can do them immediately from. I, I don't think it's all of them. I think there's like a, a row of them that you can get away with it, but it's just crazy that now that's what it's come to. That, yeah, you know, I, re I remember where we, the window smoke pros through used to be near Palace. Like yeah. that's how long ago that used to be. You used to see full XX from there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> you're taking me back. Yeah, sorry, that's your strat. Here we go, here's bit again. Walking the on hunter. in. The flight path's really interesting. It's like they, oh, that extra lip, that extra bit of elevation. Okay, let's see if we can catch all of the Na'Vi headshots. Why does it look like they're just ready for, they're just ready for anything right now? Nothing more to be said, it's Caserato who meets the bullets last. Everyone is having a field day, but Bit, top of the scoreboard. He is uh, probably on top of the world right now. This is a quarterfinal performance he can be proud of. Making Furia look silly on the third map here. It's a decider in the quarterfinal. We're finding out who will face Heroic tomorrow. Fierce, fierce competition. I think that might be a smile of disbelief there from Art. Things just really aren't working. And the double orbs are back out. They're getting the vent boost up nice and early here. Vinny will be across. Oh, Junior's in a good position for this. He's not even looking. He's not ready. Down and out. The Orpa loses it out. And oh, Fury just getting picked apart here. Every fight is Narvi's. Smokes are blooming. Your rotate feels like it's screwed. Oh. Good potential trade there. But what are you supposed to do about this? Like, you can just feel the helplessness from Furia's POV. In a lot of these situations, they don't even get a chance to shoot back. No. And this is for a 12-3 T half from Na'Vi. One more kill. God damn. All right, Na'Vi are the chads. Furia struggle bus. Let's see how they fare. It could be a quick end to this best of three series, and it's all smiles for Na'Vi.
Narvi have laid down the law, and my god, with a 12-round haul on their T side, they've set the bar incredibly high for Fury if they want to voice their concerns and have even a shot at the semi-finals versus Heroic. We are down to the playoffs. The very best remain, and, well, Fury are made to feel a little silly by Narvi. Let's see if they can return the favor. They're going to be heading all five immediately towards the B apartment, and it seems that Narvi have a perfect read. Three, immediately set up for success. Electronic takes contact. He wants one, desperately one off the flash. He can't find it, but he's alive and kicking. And Furia, they're committing. Rotations here. Yeah, this is going to be chaos. Absolute chaos. Every shot matters. Every peak could be their last. It looks good for the USPs. It's bit standing strong. Art with another only simple, and the 1v2 can't come through. Art strings together two quick ones with the Glock. And powered with him and Keserato, Furia will take a must-win pistol. All right, well, let's see how far Furia can extend this one right here. Cannot believe how much action just went down between bench and apartments. Every single body flung across this B bomb site. And you're right about the read. They were in the right place. Navi had that one booked. And they're going to force. So Furia, they grab this, they extend the game. Considerably. Yeah, uh, by what could be a big margin. Didn't catch a glimpse of them. Bit will retreat, but Electronic set up for success. Oh, Boomich actually catching one over the smoke. A nasty death to, to field early from Furia. And Bit, you, you can see he, his understanding now is that he has to make a play. He knows it has to come from him. Simple, simply controlling this ramp. It won't last be smoke forever. And so you can see a proactivity to his play. Bomb's coming back over towards A as well. Mm. So is K. Serato, who's just left the B, oh, he's about to leave the B apartment, thinks better of it. And here he comes. Oh, Bit actually takes the fight. Oh, had to win that. He certainly did. Could have softened him up. Now, Simple, if he goes for a deep clear, it's when Junior arrives. That's the problem. Simple, so aware. Tucks and oh, turns away. tail, does just about get Ooh. away. Gets two chances. And I don't think Perfecto's armored CZ will get him far, but he's going to give it everything it's got. Vinny's low, thanks to that battle with the FAMAS. And Yuri's not looking, and so he takes some pot shots. Oh. Could have finished off Vinny. Just a matter of time now. Knife? You madman, Vinny. You madman. Goes for it. Still, as you said, and as we discussed, that was an RV force. We are going to be seeing this game have a little bit of an extended uh, play time. Certainly at a bare minimum, if not for the comeback. And I, I, I'm not ready to rule it out now that the PP Bison's out. Rush yeah, well, Lee, yeah. if, in fact, you know what, Rush? He's not here. He went home. Here. Rush, oh. is, Rush, unlike us. He uh, does the one. He only does the one. OK, well, the other one doesn't have a mic, so we can't really have fun with the PP Bison and the Eco Stomp. So uh, we'll pretend Rush is here in spirit yeah. and we'll stay with Art because this here, ladies and gentlemen, is by far one of the worst ga uh, guns in all of Counter-Strike. The only use case it has da -da -da -da. is versus full eco. He's got 64 bullets. He won't have to reload. And he's probably going to get four kills with it. Three and a half. Ain't bad. Oh. <laughs> it gets better. Okay. Okay. I think they're starting to feel themselves over there in the Furia camp. A, the a knife, an attempted knife, and uh, the Bison. I think that's because... As crazy as it sounds and as hyperbole as it sounds, Furia have to believe. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> believe in yourself. Yeah, well, I'm not going to finish Believe in your teammates. I'm not going to finish the whole sentence. It was going to be so, yeah. Look into the eyes of your teammates yeah. and know that you can do this. You know what I'm saying. You understand the sentiment stands. I think if Furia have to believe that they've got it within them, they have to be playing their usual style. You know, you got to... You can't just succumb to the Na'Vi setup and the playbook. It's a very tight line here from Simple, but it could catch him one as they're walking. Ooh, a flash. And he still managed to do damage. He wants on the repeat, but he does go down, and now B is under a lot of scrutiny. They have two here, and Bit is in a, such a perfect position to provide another. It's Keserato that goes down. Perfecto's in a perfect position to catch them as they walk out. They're hanging around as well. They know there's two on the side. And that was why he was waiting for bombs spotted. The rotate can come a bit more committed. You can see Boomich has actually got himself tucked in as well. Well, it's fleeting 
motivation for Furia. Backs a turn. The spray oh. is a bit of a mess. It Scratchy. leaves Junior, yeah, just a scrap. Seven HP. Oh, God, okay, Junior, maybe I'm starting to believe. It need another one of them, and he's very loud about all of this. Perfecto's right there, ready. Good shots out of Junior this series. Had a great nuke in general. Did get the AWP back there, yeah? Yeah, they did. Just caught that one. My old man eyes too far away from the screen. Had to, had to physically lean in just to see that one. God, dude, here it comes. <laughs> they take their tactical time out. They have just just what dealt, been dealt uh, a, a dud one from Na'Vi, and they respond with a double AWP T-side. Now, that isn't something you see too often. On Inferno, Art was trying this as well, right? He had that round where he took the AWP apartments and was giving it a good crack from there. I think Vinny picked it up, and that's the one that they were able to steal away, which helped them get that map victory. Hopefully, it doesn't come down to similar scenes. Maybe we can see Art just fast and furious out mid finding an AWP pick, and... Well, it is possible. Navi's buy isn't great here. Famous for bit, MP9 for Boomich. Everything else is looking pretty good. Diffuse kit even in play. But this could be the end of Fury here. They lose this. There's not much money left in the bank. We're looking at 1,900 loss bonus. They need to fight. They ooh, need to ooh, find ooh, out. Oh, that flash caught simple. He wasn't able to get it set up on the jump. He is happily tucked into the connector now. It's funny that Na'Vi's mid-take was a lot quicker than Furious. Yeah, normally we see like four smokes mid from Furious and they go and just run straight up the guts here. But Art maybe slowing himself down with the secondary AWP was over towards the B apartments looking for a pick. Fair got point. offered absolutely nothing. It's going to be so difficult to operate with these two warps here. They still have a lot of smokes. It's a nice response from Bit. Oh, but he's been peaked on. He nearly takes down Art. Famas straight to the jaw. Yeah, low HP. Hey, low HP now, and they're coming up connector here. Oh, he's Simple might get in simple. position. Yeah, this is actually going to get really uncomfortable for Furia. Over the smoke, it's perfect. Art goes down. Electronic deals with him, and they just combine. Their setup. Vigilant. Nothing you can do here. Junior's in middle being baited and played with as Electronic comes in for another. And everyone wins on Na'Vi. They'll even take an AWP for free. Happily set up their secondary AWP without spending a penny. And there's no money left for Furia. This is it. The writing's on the wall right here. Unless they're able to just force by into this and win with pistols, we can call this one done and dusted. Na'Vi have come to play in these last two maps. Nuke and now Mirage just single digit spankings. And you could tell they were prepared for this, right? There was no noise across the rest of the map. As soon as that smoke lands, Simple's already in the perfect position. Yeah. You're seeing a lot of evidence of hard work in Na'Vi's gameplay. Here comes the A. It's very, very clear what they're up to. Good God, they'd love a bomb plant. And Vinny does get caught. Boomich is causing so much issues. They're actually all tucked in. Now he's trying to smoke himself out. He's got enough. Furia will not be getting a bomb plant today. Boomich makes sure of that. Nice shot. Uh, only the one. Okay, Serato. Just delaying the inevitable. Na'Vi versus Heroic will be just one round away from being secured for tomorrow's play. Yeah, can't even pretend he has a shot in this one. 11 HP. No map territory. Bomb down completely under Na'Vi's control. 50 seconds left on the clock and nobody, nobody creeping any closer to him so right now. Na'Vi's results since Bit was swapped in. Like, I'm trying to put a time Full frame time on Full time or are we talking... Let's talk the, since, since Na'Vi looked different. So that's since full time. Yeah, that's uh, One this week. event. Yeah, okay. So the results so far have yeah, just been very minimal. 
the thing is, not a lot of sample size. That four days that they just had as a team to practice for this playoff match yes. is huge, right? Because they haven't completely refined the way they want to approach the game. So a part of their approach to this could have been very tailored around Furia, right? It's not like we just have to do our own style and then modify. It's like we can look at what's going to work and see what tools we have and build it around this Furia puzzle. And do you remember when Blade used to be a coach of a team called Flipside? Oh, they're who pretty could, good with the counter strats. Well, they could just spend their entire six-month window where they That's didn't true. have games to anti-strat everyone at the major and then kind of get playoffs and kind of get stickers. Like, that was the Blade playbook. He just anti strat for six months. Now he can anti strat for four days. What are you cooking up there? Some trouble, for sure. Two smokes towards middle. Electronic to play around that. Oh, this is it, Alex. Yeah, Electronic. Simple. Combining already. It is just three francs separating them now. And they just keep coming. That recovered AWP even finding a connection. It's bit to bring some of the damage upon them. Fury are going to be leaving with just six. Such a stark contrast to Inferno. I mean, double overtime to start off this best of three quarter final, and it ends as quickly as that second map. Nuke was a stomping. Mirage is put in the same category here. Fury have got nothing to show for it. 16-6 on Nuke. And looking to mirror it right here, right now. That is a statement. I'm sure Heroic are watching this one, just rubbing their hands together because it's locked in. Na'Vi sail to the semi-finals. Furia bested. And their journey here on European soil will take a short hiatus. Na'Vi, though, continue. They'll be meeting Heroic. And we're breaking it down at the analyst desk for DreamHack Masters Spring in just a minute.